absolute final between Christian Banghart uh, from Big Brothers Academy and Garrett Beck from Admar Barbosa. We're going to get underway. I'm your commentator, Maine Miller, and my co-commentator. Zach Brodnick. Hey, doing, Zach? We have a, almost a double, dar double guard pull here to start things off, but Garrett stands out of it. An immediate triangle attempt from Beck. Looks like we have a, re a rip in the gi immediately. And we're going to award two points. For the sweep. So, for the sweep. Yep. Yeah, so uh, what happened there was... was uh, oh, Garrett had stood up out of the double guard pull, but then pulled guard after the stand-up, and so that, that actually constitutes a uh, sweep because... He didn't stand up long enough in order to reset the position. Yep. We have Christian here doing a nice job taking the back. And uh, Garrett has a grip, had a grip on the ankle. Christian's going to go for the topside collar choke. He's got the, his. Good. Taking nice. mount here. Wonderful transition there. Beck's taps. Really nice. Really nice. The collar choke there. Collar choke, the yeah. He had, he had locked in the collar choke when he was on the bottom, but his bottom leg was sort of, uh, Beck, Beck had his, his weight on that bottom leg of, of Christian's. And so uh, it made it really difficult for him to finish, but moving over to mount like that, he was able to keep the, the grip and finish from mount. Yeah, really, really great nice match. transition. Christian takes gold here and wins the prize for the black belt absolute. Christian's a really, really frequent competitor in the D.C., Virginia, and Maryland scene. So uh, we've, He's a really got, nice we've finish. seen him a lot. We've covered him a lot. How are you doing? We're here with Christian Banghart. Christian just took the absolute win at uh, Copa Virginia here in 2021. Uh, what was your thought going into this one? Uh, Garrett's a tough guy. You know, he trains with Admar Barbosa, which is a fantastic team, fantastic coaching over there. So I knew I had to be, you know, on my game, and I needed to be careful because, you know, they're very, they got very good passing. They got very good guard bottom. Um, so just trying to, you know, keep everything tight, play close, and, um, hope for the best. Yeah, you had a little bit of a gi malfunction at the beginning there. Have you ever had a gi rip like that in competition before? No, no. Maybe like my patch, but never like the shoulder. Of it. Look at this dude's grips, man. This guy. I was like, oh no, this is serious. Like he grabbed me, and I was like, holy shit. I thought I was I was like three years old with my father again. <laughs> walk us through the finish. Um, it's a, it's a collar choke we don't see very often. Can you walk us through the grip progression there and how you got the finish? So, yeah, he went for the triangle. We were both kind of playing top and bottom, and we're kind of like not quite solidifying the position. He jumped for the triangle. As he jumped, I swam my arm underneath, and at that point, the gi broke. We had to reset. We reset with basically almost in a double under position, and from there, I went for the stack, and as I was stacking, I felt him trying to make some space to try to get his knee across. Um, while that was happening, there was some, luckily for me, there was some space underneath his shoulder, so I was able to reach in for the loop choke and try to work my way up to the shoulder line to possibly take the back. Um, I got a deep grip, was kind of a little bit of luck, and from there just kind of stayed on it and hoped for the best. I'm like, please die, please die. So, great finish, <laughs> great match. Love covering you. Thanks, Thanks a lot bro. for your time. Appreciate you guys.